Hello and welcome back. My name is Mitchell and today we have some Irusk 2 Armored Core with a Colossal Victor and the usual smattering of support and a little backup to get my fat boys through some terrain. We have Saxon. On the other side of things we have uh, Zadesh, or no, I'm sorry, Zadesh or Zal, the dude that's got like the sword out and he gives them defensive feet, or defensive strike and strength and counter charge, whatever that guy is, uh, he has with him, uh, we got some harpoon boys, oh, no, nope, there it is, we got harpoon boys, uh, the cataphractic guys the spear wall spear and shield guys uh tiberius bronze back gladiator and he's got some beast handlers and a what you call her in the back uh agonizer whoops uh i went ahead and advanced deployed uh actually he chose to go first that's important so i chose table edge uh didn't really didn't really know where was a good spot i like that these forces forests were on his side i thought maybe i could use that with my feet my feet being see-through clouds forests and minus three speed uh since all of his big stuff heavy hitters were over here i put my victor alone over here also i could potentially contest this and I was thinking about having my caster go over here to try to take that point as well. It's a pretty dead scenario. I don't think points were going to matter very much, so I put a little thought into it, but not a lot. Moving on, he went first. He went really fast. Uh, didn't really measure out a whole lot. Just pretty much ran. Put a uh, thing my bobber there, a uh, cloud wall. And that was about it. Uh, for me, I'm going to move up this Victor with Fire for Effect. I'm going to try to snipe out those Beast Handlers for the hopeful bonus of them not getting engaged or enraged and doing a metric ton of damage. I am going to walk up. I'm going to stay out of everything's threat range for the most part and just not let him be able to get an alpha on me quite yet and that was about it uh i put up artifice of divination just to force him to have to continually spend fury to put up pathfinder uh that's really about it he didn't have any shooting that i felt i needed the cover bonus from it and we'll go to the next one there i am Sorry for the terrible photo. Uh, this turn, he he realizes I gave him a little bit that he can go on, not a lot. And I actually think if I was in his place, I would have went for it because yeah, you're not gonna get a lot, but you are gonna get some. You close the gap. And now you have defensive strike on all of your stuff. So if I want to shuffle forward to fully engage, you're now smacking the shit out of me. That's my thought process. If I was in his position, he chose not to do that. He pretty much just forms a line and preps to assault me next turn. And doesn't give me anything to assault him with. Which does not benefit him because I'm going to run my Irusk up to here and my 14 inch bubble is going to grab all that stuff and all I'm going to do is because I don't want to just get smacked is I'm going to just walk like an inch or two forward and I'm just going to make my own line so now I am god damn it I am in threat range, 
but he cannot retaliate because he will not have the speed to really make an effective retaliation. And I should be able to get the alpha with my victor. Again, not a whole lot really happened. Oh, you know what did happen that was insane. So I fired a bunch of shots over the turns with him lighting stuff on fire. Killed beast handlers. Uh, the really fun thing is I lit Tibber and uh, the bronze back on fire. Tibber, I think I did one point of damage. Whatever. The so bronze back, I rolled double sixes for damage both times. And I'm off five. No, I was only doing five damage each time. So I did ten total damage just from fire on the bronze back. Essentially for free. Which was awesome. I think he's down to like two of those left. And I'm going to end up killing that one. So he's only going to have one beast handler left. So overall I'm pretty happy. Harpoon boys don't really have anything to shoot. And he could go for demo core. But if he kills the one I give him, uh, I'm just going to get vengeance and really get to do what I want to do. So he doesn't choose to do that. And there's my turn. Bad picture. I'm sorry. Uh, this turn, he... Oh, wait. Oh, yeah. So I, moved, I actually moved up here because these guys over here didn't get the feet. So this turn, he's going to charge... He's going to charge these guys in. He's going to kill, like, one shock trooper. Uh, he is going to... I think he, again, just sits in... Sits in that spot? Oh, no, no, this is my turn. Duh. Or is it my turn? Oh, uh, no, so I've just popped feet. That's right. I'm dumb. I popped feet. And now, what he's going to do in retaliation is... Not really move, which sucks for him. He is going to manage to get this guy that didn't get it, uh, feet put on him. He's going to get him up through there. He's going to hit my objective, kill it. He's capped this one twice, so he actually gets up three points. On a dead scenario, being up three points, kind of not good. So that's in the back of my mind, but I know I'm about to get my victor up in there, so I'll have some more room and there's no way he's getting this one or this one so I'm not super worried about it and so this is what I do uh, Victor ended up moving up uh, he killed the bronze back and messed up the gladiator all my guys engage all these guys finish off those guys and he proceeds to make all of these guys take tough rolls. I think there's 11 total tough rolls. He makes, I think, like seven in a row, fails one, and then makes 11 or four more for a total of 11. And they all survive. And I'm like, well, this is ridiculous. <laughs> it was really insane how many tough rolls he made. Uh, he's like, okay, well, I'm going to kill this victor. I'm going to push this guy out. And I'm going to score that objective. And I'm like, okay, that's going to take him up to four. But he's not getting that. He's not getting that. So not worried. I think I'll take I'll take the trade. Uh, he's going to do that. He's going to try to do some damage to my line. Uh, doesn't do a whole lot, as expected. And we move on to here. This guy has like little to no health. This guy's pretty chunky. All of these guys are like on one box. And Zadesh is right here. Or Zal or whatever. And now I'm going to kill that objective. I'm going to finish off these two guys. And then I'm going to start going this way. Uh, he capped that. So he is at four. So I do have to stop him from getting that. Or I ought to lose I need to score that objective, and I need to get my caster over there. If I do that, I go up two points, he goes up no points, and it becomes two to four, and I do not think from that point on he can score 
and win the game just on objectives. The clock right now is like 10 minutes for me, 5 minutes for him, something like that. It's not a lot of time. Uh, he clears my guys, uh, manages to score. He's now at 5, I'm at 2. He's pretty much on no time, I'm on no time. And I just kill some more things. Uh, and I pass clock, and he's got like 15 seconds left, and he can't do all of his fury management before the clock runs out, and I win. It was a good game. It was a new list of his, so I didn't blame him for, you know, fumbling and trying different things and uh, just seeing how the list plays out. It was a lot of fun. Uh, I really don't like the plus two strength defensive strike and uh, counter charge or whatever else they get, or armor I think it is. That is a really brutal feat. Uh, I think if he had been more aggressive it would have been more beneficial to him, but it is what it is.